There are two types of views that allow us to do more extensive detailing in a Revit model. The first kind of view is called a section view, and the second view is a callout view. A section view allows us to cut through a building or an object at whatever location we draw the section and be able to see each of the different layers of materials that that entity is made out of. A callout view is an enlarged detail, so we can zoom in and see a higher level of detail. In this instance, we're going to take a look at both a section and a callout view and then review how each of those are placed. Zoom in here where we have our restrooms and you'll see that a section view symbol has already been placed. The first thing we need to do is either double click on the circle or under your project browser, look underneath the category of sections for section main building and then double click on that view. What we'll see when we do that is a cut right through this wall location. And here we can see where we have the floor down below. We can begin to see the floors coming up. Right here is a roof. And we can see this is the outer wall that it's cutting through. This entity here with a circle with a few dashes and this line, this is what's called a callout. It's also used to be able to create enlarged details of spaces. If we wanted to see an enlarged detail of what this looks like, highlight over the circle and then either double click on that or double click where it has call out at roof. And this will take you to an enlarged detail of this particular area. What you would do in this case, once you had the enlarged detail, you would come back in using drafting tools to finish it off so it's created just the way that it should look as far as when the building is constructed. Now this is how we place these inside of our plans. I'm going to click the X up here in the corner of each of these views until I get back to the floor plan view. Zoom out, and now let's come out to this building, and it's a garage out here at the outside. Select on the View tab, and then pick on Section. We're going to create a section through one of these walls. Make sure that Reference Other View is cleared out, so there's no check mark in there. Click once, come over again, click again. Now, anything you want to see inside of that section view has to be inside of this dash box that we see going around the view. If we'd want this window to be inside of the view, we would have to pull this down so that the window was actually crossing over this line right here. If we don't want to see the window in the view, we would pull it up, and now the window would no longer be inside of this view. Now to see the section itself, once again, move over here, and then either double click where right now it says section one, or double click where the circular part of this section symbol is at. And this will take us to a section going through that part of the building. Now that we've done that, we can look over here and we can see the scale is 3 sixteenths of an inch equals one foot. We could change that by clicking on the scale and picking any scale that we'd want off of the list. In this case, I'd like to give it a more traditional wall section scale. I'm just going to choose a 3 quarters of an inch equals a foot off of the list. We couldn't see much of a change on the screen, but it did change the overall scale of everything that was drawn. Unfortunately now, we're not seeing too much detail. We're seeing some concrete pattern here, but that's about it. Next thing I'd like to do is right next to the scale, there's an option that says detail level, and it's currently set to coarse. Change that from being coarse to a fine level of detail. Now we can see each layer of material that makes up this wall. Now the idea behind coarse versus fine, a coarse level of detail is great for an overall building section that just shows cutting through the building and we don't necessarily care about how each material relates to one another. A coarse level of detail, on the other hand, will give us a finer level of detail so we'll be able to see each layer of material that makes up items like this wall. Next thing I'd like to do a detail of, or actually in this case it will be called a call out of, will be this location here where the wall comes up and hits the roof. To do that, underneath the view tab we're going to select on call out. Click once, hold your mouse button down, then you can let go of the mouse button, and then when you have this windowed around this general area, click again. And zoom in a little bit. What this is going to do is it's going to create what's called a call out view just in this area. Move down, double click where the circular shape is at, and now we can see an enlarged detail of this particular area ready for us to be able to put in such things as maybe insulation, individual brick coursework, 
as well as a top plate here to support the roof on top of the wall. So your sections and callouts, their purpose is to give us a better indication of how these walls come together, how the different materials come together, and enlarge these so that we can get a fine enough level of detail that we can easily communicate the design without each of these items being too small to be able to see.